Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your boy Anton Corona Mosley right here again. Welcome to episode two of Ask Criminal 2K12 right here on YouTube. I got ten more questions from you guys, the fans, that I'm going to answer for you right here, right now. So without wasting any more time, let's get to the questions, shall we? Well, to be quite honest with everybody, I think the only person that I would want to meet from Jersey Shore Cast would probably have to be Paulie D. Alright, let me tell you why. One, obviously, he's a DJ. And probably one of the most recognizable DJs out there today. Two, I think out of all the people on the Jersey Shore cast, I think his head is on straighter than everybody else's. Then again, you know, maybe Vinny. But, Pauly D probably stands above the rest. And I think he's a cool dude. So I think if there's anybody I would want to meet face to face and in person, it had to be DJ Pauly D. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Wow, my first live wrestling event. I have to go all the way back to July 6th of 1996. And it would have to be a night where me, my family, we went to the Phillips Arena in Atlanta, Georgia to see an episode of WCW Monday Nitro. And I think it was the night when Goldberg beat Hulk Hogan for the World Heavyweight Championship. That place went nuts. I've never seen anything like that. And I always used to watch it on TV live. But I never actually got the chance to go see it. Like, I used to watch it on TV all the time. I never thought I would see it live. And for me to actually see it live, that really set the standard. It's like, you know what, I got to try to go to more of these when I get older. Or when I come into money, get myself a job. And... Shoot, look at me now. You know, it's been since 96, I've been to a ton of live events, you know, and including WrestleManias, obviously, because that's what's carrying my YouTube page right now, my Road to WrestleMania videos, which are coming up soon as well. So be ready for that. But I think that was probably one of my greatest events ever. As a matter of fact, here, I'll show you. This is a picture right here of me and my brothers. You can see it. Yeah, there's my brothers over here, and of course I gotta be the one with the red shirt on. But yeah, these are me and my brothers, and this was a great time. I had so much fun. It was a lot of fun. But yeah, that was my first live event, and I'll, I'll be happy to do more. I promise you that. I gotta say for me it's kind of it's always gonna be more difficult because you don't want to repeat the same things you did the year before you always want to try to do something new try to do something different but at the same time you always want to go back to the stuff that you like doing you know certain segments that I want to bring back or try to put a spin on one of the older segments and try to make it unique and try to make it more interesting again it's always difficult to try to come up with new things, but once I have something down on paper that I really want to try, and I'll try it at least once, but if I get it, if I do it right, and hey, I'll do it again and do it again, and more people will come and watch and enjoy what I do. So, it's it's more difficult than it is easy because, I mean, let's face it, I do my show runs once a month. Okay, Criminal's Deep Thoughts run, runs once a month, and my loyal fans and friends know this. And it's hard enough for me to come up with a lot of ideas in one month. And believe me, if I was to ever get picked up by a show, then it would really take a lot, you know, a lot more pressure because I'd have to bring up everything in at least a week's time instead of a month. But... That's the dedication I want to go for, and that's that's the hard work that I want to, you know, put on the table because I know I can do this. You know, it's something I've wanted to do for a long time, and here I am in my sixth season, getting ready to start soon, and I've got a bunch of ideas going in my head, and I can really just throw it all on paper right now and say, okay, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do that. It's easy to write it on paper, but it's difficult to actually get it done. 
But once I do get it done, I feel accomplished because I feel like, you know what? This is going to work. I feel great. And I hope people like it. So, there you go. <laughs>
you know, anything can happen in the NCAA tournament. But, you know, with the NBA playoffs, you kind of figure, okay, these are one through eight. You kind of know who's going against who, and you everybody can say, okay, these guys are going to play them, and these guys are going to play them, and these guys are going to play them. NCAA tournament, you never know what happens. A top seed could fall in the first round. It's ne It hasn't happened before, but don't be surprised if it happens soon. And if it does, hey, you can say I told you. God, I hope not. If Cam Newton graces the cover, for one, I'll be happy because I have a Carolina Panther on the cover of a game. But number two, it's Cam Newton. No, you will not put my quarterback on the game. If they do, I will revert the statement and I will take it back. But I do not want to see Cam Newton on the cover of Madden 13. I'm sorry. I am a firm believer in the Madden curse. Believe me. I am a firm believer in it. And if you don't believe if you don't believe what I'm saying to you, go all the way back to episode one of Criminals Deep Thoughts, which started way back in 07, and that was the very first topic I covered on film was the Madden curse. Every player that's graced the cover of Madden has either gotten hurt or had a very bad season. Okay? Look it up. I'm telling you right now. But yeah, you see what I'm saying, okay? I don't want Cam Newton on the cover. Simple as that. <laughs> Yes, finally, I want to do this. I've been trying to do this for a year and a half now, and now it's finally going to happen. I'm going to be on Ustream every week or so, just throwing a live blog in there, and everybody can come in and talk to me and, you know, chat with me and see what's going on. And who knows, you might get exclusive uh, footage of what I might bring to the table or exclusive, uh, you know, news reports, events, things are going on, maybe even some appearances that I might be making. So, hey, check it out. I'll be on Ustream soon, so if you guys don't have a Ustream account, I suggest you get one and find me, alright? Well, seeing the fact that I had originally set the date for a Friday, I think a Saturday release would be more fitting. So, Season 6 of Criminals Deep Thoughts official release date will be, mark this on your calendars, March 24th. The official release of episode number 41 of Criminals Deep Thoughts. I cannot wait to get started. You guys are going to have so much fun with this. I'm going to have so much fun with this. And it's going to be crazy. You never know what's going to happen on the show. You always expect the unexpected. So March 24th, episode 41 of Criminals Deep Thoughts is coming live. I cannot wait to get started. Let's get this going. Well, guys, it's going to do it for another episode of Ask Criminal. That's the way we do it. You guys give me the questions, I give you the answers. Simple as that, with 100% honesty. I'm, gonna, I'm making the decision right now that I'm going to be doing 10 questions an episode, as I did the first one. If you guys would like to see your questions being asked, send me your question to the information down below, and I'll be glad to check them out. If I like what I see, you'll make the show. Who knows? You may get one question, you may get two. Hell, you might take half the questions on the episode. Send as many questions as you like, because I'll answer anything you throw at me, as you can obviously see. But until episode three, I'm Anton Criminal Mosley, your humble host. I gotta get out of here. I got things I gotta take care of. So, holla at your boy. Peace out. And again, thanks for the questions, guys. Appreciate it. Holla!